5 seconds. Start. Speaking on the performance budget, the Honorable Minister for Backward Classes, Most Backward Classes and Minorities Welfare said, Mr. Speaker, Sir, I take this opportunity to say a few words regarding the welfare scheme that has been implemented in my department. The Government of Tamil Nadu is implementing various welfare schemes for the benefit of backward classes, most backward classes, denotified communities and minorities, as education is basic for social and economical advancement. The government is making significant budget allocation for implementation of various educational schemes. The Tamil Nadu Backward Classes Economic Development Corporation was formed for the economic development of the people belonging to backward classes, most backward classes and denotified communities in the state. The reservation policy of the government enables the persons belonging to backward classes most backward classes and denotified communities to secure admission in the educational institutions and to get employment in state government for their social and economical advancement. The government grant scholarships to students of pre-metric, post-metric, three-year degree courses, diploma courses in polytechnics, professional degree courses and various other courses so as to enable them to continue education. A scheme of sanctioning scholarship to the students belonging to these communities of Tamil Nadu studying undergraduate and postgraduate courses in listed central institutes and central universities all over India including Tamil Nadu is being implemented by the government. The government of India scholarship schemes for other backward classes is also implemented in Tamil Nadu. Hostels are functioning in various parts of the state for the stay of the students who are going to school from far off places to continue their studies. Yearly, four sets of uniforms are provided to the students up to 10th standard. The food charges for school boarders and college boarders are borne by the government. In addition to that, the government provides special food to the inmates of school and college hostels during festivals such as Pongal, Republic Day, Tamil New Year, Independence Day and Deepavali. I would like to inform that in addition to this monthly miscellaneous charges such as for soap, toothpaste has been sanctioned to school and college hostel boarders. The government is providing boarding grants for 10 months in a year to the students of backward classes, most backward classes and denotified communities staying in the government recognized private hostels subject to the condition that their annual parental income does not exceed 2 lakhs. In order to encourage the wardens, matrons and other staff to maintain the hostels in a hygienic manner, shield and memento are awarded to the best three hostels and cash prices are awarded to the staff of these hostels. Bicycles are supplied at free of cost to those students studying in 11th standard in government, government aided and partly aided schools without any income ceiling except for students staying in hostels situated in the school premises and students of residential schools. The government is honoring those who make outstanding contribution for social justice in Tamil Nadu with Tandai Periyar Award for social justice every year. The awardee is selected by the Honorable Chief Minister every year. The awardee is awarded a gold medal of 1 sovereign and a cash prize of rupees 1 lakh. The cash prize of rupees 1 lakh has been increased to rupees 5 lakhs from the previous financial year onwards. Thus, the awardee is awarded a gold medal of 1 sovereign and a cash prize of rupees 5 lakhs. With these words, I thank you all 
for giving me this opportunity and conclude my speech with the hope that i have done my best